The 43rd Retromobile in Paris was once again enlarged and now took place with a new hall on 69,000 square meters. The extra space caused less crowds in the corridors but also offered space for more special exhibitions. Of course, it were mainly the French brands that presented themselves at the Retromobile. But there were also some surprises. This year's Retromobile was all about the 120th anniversary of the French brand Renault. So also the special exhibition of the French Teuf Teuf Club. Here the club showed some vehicles from the early days of the brand, such as the Renault Type-C course race car from 1900, Type-AG from the 1910s or the Renault Type-C Q from the 1912s. In the same series was also the Renault Type-AX which conquered the French streets in 1908. The Renault Type K3 taxi from 1933, which was used in this form with 2400 copies until 1959 as a Parisian taxi, is surely much younger. Impressive was the Renault Type V Landalais in its original condition, which was restored substance preserving and ready to drive. Also in the unrestored original condition was the Renault Type A Voiturette, which was showed up on the booth of the Museum Palais de Compiègne. With this automobile, the history of the brothers Renault began in the year 1898 and also the retrospective of the Renault Group on the Retromobile. Next to it was the Type B with a labourette body, a closed model which was built from 1900 to increase the comfort. At the Renault booth, a random cross-section of the automotive history was drawn. Among them were the founding fathers such as a bus of 1927 autocar type PR in addition to the Renault type BD Fouchon Postal of 1909 or the Paris type AG taxi from 1905. The special show has also included a first electrified R5, a Renault Colorade pickup and the Renault Estafette ice cream trucks and of course the mass vehicles for everybody like the Renault Cachevo or the R16 but also the Renault Espace, a revolution in the 80s. An absolute eye-catcher was the rally Renault R4, which was formerly driven by the French model, journalist and film producer Michel Ray, which traveled in 1968 from Tierra del Fuego to Alaska. Renault also honored the 40th anniversary of the Alpine victories at Le Mans with a special exhibition of four Alpine A442 models lined up side by side. Each of the vehicles also presented the helmets of the drivers who once drove the vehicles. Citroën showed official vehicles of the French government, such as the state sedan DS21 with a Chabron coachwork of 1968, but also the former sedan DS19 of 1962. In between, the modern DS of Emmanuel Macron. But Citroën also celebrated the 70th anniversary of the De Chevaux and showed the original model of the De Chevaux, the prototype TPV. TPV stood for small vehicle. Immediately next to it, Mihari celebrated its 50th anniversary. Peugeot also had two birthdays to celebrate. 80 years Peugeot 203 and 50 years Peugeot 504. On display were some variants of the two models. In the new additional Hall 3, a special exhibition was dedicated to the French racing driver and automotive designer Jean-Pierre Vimille. Vimille was the son of a motorsport journalist. He drove some races privately from 1931 in a Bugatti Type 51. However, the vehicle seemed to be unreliable and he changed to Alfa Romeo. After some racing success, the Bugatti factory team hired him and he continued as a works driver for Bugatti. On the one side, his racing cars could be seen on the exhibition. On the other side, his automotive constructions. For in 1946, Jean-Pierre Vimille founded the Vimille car brand. His very first 1946 prototype was based on a Citroën 11CV four-cylinder engine which had been built into the prototype as a mid-engine concept. The vehicle reached 150 km an hour after all. It was followed by the model of 1947, which was equipped with a Ford V8 engine. Particularly striking is the aerodynamic shape of the Vimille vehicles. 
This shape was optimized again with the 1948 model. Actually, the Vermeil vehicles were supposed to go to production, but Ford showed no interest in the models. Tragically, Jean-Pierre Vermeil crashed in 1950 during a race. Business friends then founded the Compagnon de Parisienne d'Automobile and built two more prototypes, but for financial reasons they soon had to close. Also in Hall 3 was the Abbott exhibition of Swiss collector Moll. Including real Abbott rarities, such as the Abbott 500 record car by Pini Farina, the Abbott 2000 Sport Quattrofari and the Abbott 1000 TCR. Also on the booth, the Abbott 1000 GT Bialbero Le Mans from 1962. Also very rare is the Fiat Abbott OT 2000 Coupe America from 1966. And the two prototypes Abbott 2000 Sport Spider from 1969 and Abbott 2000 Spider SEO 22 from 1971. Sporting is continued by the booth of Richard Miel with a special show of the brand McLaren. On display were various racing car models with which McLaren had written racing history, starting with the 1974 Marlboro Team Texaco M23 with a Ford V8 Crossworth engine, with the monocoque MAD V8 Chevrolet of, of the Canam series, McLaren achieved the Canam overall victory in 1970. Bruce McLaren's 1968 M7A and the 1966 Ford V8 powered M2B are the earliest models of the Bruce McLaren racing team. Of course McLaren tightened also the clasp to the modern times and showed models such as the McLaren P1 and the 1995 McLaren F1 GT01R. The special show in the passage from Hall 1 to Hall 2 also described racing history. It was dedicated to the great hours of the Autodrome de Linas in Monterrey near Paris. On this track, 1,800 speed records were retracted. Shown were record cars such as the Peugeot Petit Rosalie from 1933, the Voisin C15 record car from 1930, Citroën de Cheveux Bardot from 1953, Peugeot 203 Dalmar DS from 1953, the Isetta Villam from 1957 and also modern record cars such as the Peugeot EX1 prototype. Of course, the motorcycles such as the Peugeot 515 record motorcycle from 1934 could not be missing. Young timers have also been shown on the Retromobile. The highlight of this special exhibition was the Matra Begera. Back to the manufacturers. Porsche celebrated its 70th anniversary and showed some copies from their history since the Porsche 356. Also Aston Martin, Lamborghini and Jaguar showed the range of their company history. Despite the snowfall during the Retromobile, the Tuff Tuff Club also showed their vehicles in motion and took visitors on a short test drive in front of the horse. 